Okay, student, let us see what is there in this question. A student measures the count rate of radioactive sample with time in a laboratory. The background count is 30 counts per second. So this is basically the disturbance. So whether the reaction is taking place or not, the device on which you are measuring the count rate, it is showing 30 counts. So this is like all the values, they have been added with the 30. So um, the table is given. What is the time at which the student measures the count rate to be 40? It means be very particular about this. Try to understand. 150 is the count rate. So actual number of disintegration is 120. 150 minus 30. Because 30 is the background count which was recorded just like that. So 90 minus 30 is 60. And here 45 minus 30 will be 15. So 15 is the number of disintegration that you are looking forward to. 120 is the initial number of disintegrations. You can say that it started with this. And 60 is uh, like the disintegration that was coming down. So we can say that there is a formula n divided by n naught is equal to half raised to power t divided by t half. So the formula is not given in the book as well as it is not given in the data booklet but many of the solutions for paper two questions given by IB they use this formula so this formula is authenticated no problem about that and if you want to learn more about this you have to like you have to subscribe to the YouTube channel you have to join the YouTube channel and then you can access the uh, online course there you can find the topic of counter it and you can see this but um, uh, till then uh, if you have not done I would be doing it here so n number you want it to be 15 and not you started with 120 time you want to find and half life is not given but be very careful here you started with 120 and now it is 60 it clearly shows that 20 is the half life isn't it because it was 20 now it is 60 so 20 is the half life so 20 second it will be written like this now we want to solve this equation and we would be having our answer so 15 when you divide this you would be getting 8 15 8 is 120 and so um, we can write this 1 by 8 as 1 by 2 raised to power 3 and this is written as 1 by 2 raised to power t divided by 20 which means that t divided by 20 should be equal to 3 and which only means that t is equal to 60 seconds and that is why c will be the correct answer and this is how we do this question so i know that there is uh, like this kind of question is very very specific count rate no book is talking about it and uh, like uh, the formula is not available in the data booklet also anywhere but i have uh, done couple of questions they are already present on the youtube channel you have to just find uh, i believe if you would be writing count rate professor Varun, and you will search it on the youtube or on the google you would be getting four or five such questions and you can see all of those questions how i have done there are a couple of questions in paper two that i have done uh, for this and paper one also in which ib uh, had given graphs and others so complete analysis has already been done and they are already available on the youtube channel so if you have problem with this please try to search those questions on the youtube channel just write count rate and my name that is professor varun and you would be finding those four or five videos okay dear students so this is how we do this question and the answer for this question is c that is 60 second thanks for watching the video please share the video with all your friends also join the youtube channel all the best bye